Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Y'all know who this is. This your boy, Raw Thomas Jr., and this is the real news behind the news. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Today is Monday, September 16th. Very overcast and cloudy Monday, 2024. And real briefly, y'all, I want to show y'all the difference between protecting your neighborhood and snitching. Now, just a few minutes ago, man, y'all seen the video that I just uploaded. A, sec a second ago, well, I, I was sitting up under here, man, um, not too long ago, got up, getting ready for work, sitting out here having a cup of coffee, and next thing you know, I hear three shots, bam, then a few seconds later, I hear three more shots, so I'm getting up, I'm looking in the backyard, I'm looking to see if I see anybody running or whatever, because so guess what, I'm a tell it, telling it and snitching is two different things, y'all. Let me give y'all some real game. Snitching is when one or two or more people commit a crime and one of them people tell on the other people to get a reduced sentence. But when you hear shit like that in your neighborhood or you see some somebody breaking in somebody's house, you got an obligation as a responsible adult, responsible parent, responsible citizen, responsible neighbor, to get that shit out your neighborhood, bro. You got to get that shit out your neighborhood, man. That's why we as Negroes have hoods. That's why we have neighborhoods. We don't have communities because a community will get that shit out their neighborhood so they can continue to thrive. What person wants to live in a place where his kid can't walk up and down the street? What person want to live in a neighborhood where his grandmama, his mama can't sit on her front porch after she done worked all her life? To buy a house, and in her final golden year, she can't even sit out on her carport because you got niggas. There's a difference between niggas and black folks. You got niggas running up and down the street, killing people. You got one or two people living in a neighborhood of 300 people holding all the other 298 people hostage because y'all scared to tell. Now, it ain't snitching when you're trying to get crime out your neighborhood, bro. No. Your neighborhood going to continue to be crime infested until we stand up and start telling. Now, I got to give a disclaimer, and mu I must admit. Let me let me show you who the real snitches are, y'all. The snitches are the people who are telling y'all not to snitch. Hold on. The real snitches. Most times, I'm going to be real. And I'm not going not to get a game up. Y'all know me. I don't get a game up. I let niggas do what they do. I, I, I don't care until it affects. The, the, the general public. But you, most of your real snitches, a lot of these big time dope boys that y'all be looking at, these kids be looking up to, them the real snitches. These Negroes and got so many criminal charges against them that most of them face in life sentence. And believe it or not, I know why a lot of people are scared because they don't trust the police. Because in reality, in a lot of cases, some of your police are part, precipitating the or uh, criminal activity. You got a lot of police who will allow these boys to continue their shit because they are selling just as much dope as these as these as these dope boys. Your biggest snitches in your neighborhood are the dope boys a lot of times. Cause them the ones who telling on each other. But they tell me and you that we can't tell on them for making our neighborhoods look like motherfucking war zones. I grand, like I say, our grandmama can't sit on the porch. She worked 40 some years hard of her, 40, 40 some hard years of her life to buy a house. And she can't even sit on her front porch because you got a bunch of young Negro trying to intimidate the whole neighborhood. Saying if you tell on what we doing, we going to kill you. Well, nigga, you finna have to kill me. I'm finna try to get, you got to kill me before I get rid of all you niggas out this neighborhood. Man, you got an obligation. To get that shit out your neighborhood. Why you think folks make it big and leave the neighborhood and live in gated communities while you still in the hood? Because don't nobody want to grow up or have a kid growing up in this shit, man. Man, when I heard them gunshots, the first thing I did was investigate. Is it finna be a nigga jumping fences, running through my backyard, hiding in my shed? So no, nigga, no, 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 no. And you this coming from a man who done faced multiple, I done faced a life sentence 
And they told me all, I remember when they told me, say, the DA going to want to know if you want to do a little time or a lot of time. You know what my answer was? Trying to keep a gangster? No matter what I say, I'm going to do some time. So what they having for breakfast down there in Bossier Parish? Because I'm not telling. I committed that crime, so I did. I was ready to do whatever time. Just so happened, God blessed me to beat that life in it. Didn't have to tell on nobody. But if I see a nigga breaking in that man's house across the street, get what I'm going to do. I'm calling the police while I got another, uh, I got a cell phone calling the police. I got the tablet recording that nigga. We got to get him out of our neighborhood. How you going to let one person, two people, three people hold a neighborhood of 300 hostage? Come on, that don't make no sense. Keeping it gangster is keeping our neighborhoods just that a hood, a neighborhood. Don't you want to get back to the point where they say you got a village, you got a community? Only way we're going to get back to that point, man, if we got to start getting this criminal element out of our neighborhood. Tell them, look, man, do what you want to do. Just do that shit. So go to them white folks' neighborhood and sell that shit. Go to them white folk neighborhood and do that shit. Now, I'm not trying to make it seem racist or whatever when I say go to them white folk neighborhood, but why are you stealing from your own people who barely got just as much as you do? So it's not snitching, man, to protect your neighborhood. I went up there, man. I wasn't even planning on talking to the police. I was just doing a video showing that, that I heard six shots. Now, what if, what if I was walking my dog up the street? What if my child was riding his bicycle? up and down the street when them six shots were fired. What if my grandmama or my mama was sitting out on her porch when I heard them shots and one of them bullets could have hit her? No, you have an obligation to get that shit out your neighborhood. That's called being a responsible parent, adult, and member of your community, man. Hey, I'm just keeping it real. Fuck that. Our neighborhoods are going to continue to suffer until we, I'm not saying being no vigilante, but until we stand up and say, fuck that, you one or two Negro that's trying to hold a neighborhood of three, four hundred people hostage. You better hope the police catch you before we do. That's the attitude we got to start taking. Y'all be blessed.